Hi there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosy Rivera and today I'm sharing for day 17 of our advent calendar how to make this incense that will be carried by the white skin Caspar. I hope you like today's project. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to start by measuring one fourth of a teaspoon of clay in this yellow ochre color. We're kneading that thoroughly, forming it into a bowl, and then stretching out into a cylinder to start cutting it. So we cut it on the middle, and one of these halves, we're going to stretch it again, and then cut it into four pieces now. This is just so we have a reference for the size. You can also do this just by calculating. And one of these four pieces, I've cut it in half one more time. And then we're going to group two, and a half and then one and a half and this is going to be used as the base and for the top part we're going to use the other half and also cut it into four pieces just like that and cut one of these in half again and same for another one and then one of these even smaller pieces we're going to cut it in half one more time and then everything that we have remaining on the side here, we're going to just mix it together. And then we're going to start working on the base. So I start by making a ball, forming that into a drop, and then make it flat so it looks more like a cone. And then we're going to start going all around with vertical lines. All around, just to give it some texture making sure it's very flat and then we're going to need a small piece of wire and i'm just setting some glue aside here so i can dab the wire on it and then insert it into our base we just made our little cone just like this making sure it doesn't go all the way down so to account for how much the clay shrinks And just like that, now we have the base. Now I'm getting the next piece right here. We're gonna do the same thing, knead it, form it into a ball, and then into a drop. Just, the only difference is that this drop is going to be a little bit bigger, and I'm also going to make it flat, so more like a cone. And then we make a hole at the widest point to make it even wider. Always making sure we keep it pointy and that bottom side, the thinner side. And while I keep it here on this tool, the star tool, I'm going to go in and add a texture just like with it for the other one, just by adding vertical lines all around. Making sure we get those lines all the way to the edge, just so it looks consistent with what we did for the bottom part. Once we have that there, we're going to add it to our wire. So just adding a little bit of glue and meeting both pointy ends together. And then making sure they attach nicely where both points meet. And now we have the base. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other one. But on this one, I'm going to remove two small pieces that are roughly the same size, very small. Just like that. And now we're going to knead the remaining clay, forming it into a ball. And then one more time, making that sort of cone. Just like that. And once again, adding lines, vertical lines, all around. This will be the, the sort of like the lid. I just add some glue to the bottom here and then attach it together with the other pieces. So now we have the base and the lid all set in place. 
just like that. And now making sure it can stand on its own, just making sure it's very flat, making sure the wire doesn't bend. And now with the next part, we're going to form a ball just like that. And then we're going to add some glue to the top of our shape of our little incense carrier or holder. And then just secure it to the top there with this other piece. I'm going to make that into a ball, then a drop shape. Make it flat one more time so it's more like a cone and then adding it to the top. just like that but since i don't have enough wire here i'm going to add another piece of wire just to make sure everything is nice and secure and i'm just trying to see if i can get the wire that i already have in here to stretch a little bit And I couldn't, but I am removing the top part, that top circle or sphere we added there, making it a little bit smaller just to account for the proportions. And now we have a small piece of wire. So I'm going to do the same thing with the cone we had earlier, making it a bit smaller. And one more time, forming that cone and now gluing it back in place, making sure we attach it to a part of wire. And just making sure it's very visible that these are separate pieces. Just like that. Now for the last one, I'm also going to cut it in half to make it small. And it's going to be one single ball. And then I'm just adding a little bit of glue and securing it in place at the top of our little figurine. Now with the ones we cut, that we cut upside earlier, these ones right here, I'm going to knead them. And on the side, we're going to make them a little bit flat. Then I'm adding a small hole and they will be sort of like the handles. And then I'm just going to attach it to the sides here. And the other one on the other side. Once we have that done, it's going to look like this. And now we're going to go in and add one more wire to make it sort of like where you would hold it from. So I'm using this craft wire, which is easy to bend as much as we need. And I'm just calculating how much we're going to need by wrapping it around the top of our little incense holder. And then I just cut it. Now, once that's done, remember we need to place it on some sort of round surface, just like this brush handle I'm using here, just to get that nice curve going there. Now I'm placing it and measuring it to the sides. And now the edges of the wire, I'm just going to bend them into sort of circles facing to the outside. Just like that. Now just getting it narrower at the ends. And now we're going to place this right above the handles on a little instance holder. And now we're just going to add a little bit of glue on both sides and then secure it into place. But to make sure this doesn't stick apart, once it dries, it should stay in place because of the clay and the glue. But just to make sure it's extra secure, I'm going to get two smaller pieces of wire. Very, very small roughly one centimeter long, just like that. And then I'm going to fold them in half. Just be careful not to hurt yourself like I just did.
it doesn't hurt a lot, but my fingers are very sensitive. So now I just made this sort of hook thing with the wire and then I'm going to place it in between here and then just slide it or push it into the rest of the clay. And this isn't going to let it slide out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Once we've done that, and it looks like this, nice and secure, we're going to go in with some gold acrylic paint and just make sure we can highlight those details. And just going all around the piece. Just like this. And we paint all around. Now it's going to add a little bit of powder toner since it gives it more of a golden metallic shine. Just to make it look like a metallic piece. And there we go. Now we have our little incense holder ready. I hope you liked today's project. My name is Rosie Rivera. Thank you for watching. Many blessings.